Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and um, I'm looking at the 2019 AP Physics 1 uh, third free response question here. And so we have a projectile launcher consisting of a spring with an attached plate as shown in the figure 1. When the spring is compressed, the plate can be held in place by a pin at any three positions A, B, or C. For the example in figure 2, shows a steel sphere placed against the plate which is held in place by a pin at position C. The sphere is launched upon release of the pin. So we put a pin here and we let it go and it launched. Okay, so do not hypothesize that the spring constant spring inside the launcher is the same value for different compression distances. Student plans to test the hypothesis by launching the sphere using the launcher. State basic physics principle a law student could use in designing experiment to test the hypothesis. Uh, you're going to use conservation of energy here. Because what's going to happen is what we want to say is that the energy in the spring the PE of the spring is going to get converted into the kinetic energy of the sphere. Determine expression for the spring constant in terms of quantities that can be obtained from measurements made with equipment usually found in school and physics laboratory. Well, so we're going to measure the distance. So we're going to say, well, the 1 half kx squared, that's the potential energy, would have to equal the energy of the sphere. Now, the, the question is whether or not you think this sphere is going to spin. If it's not spinning, you would just do 1 half mv squared. And so you could solve for k by canceling this, and you would say it's equal to mv squared over x squared. Now, how would you know this? Well, you can measure the mass by the weight of the object. You can measure its velocity by using a camera, a high-speed camera, and tracking like how quickly it moves over time. And x is the initial measurement of displacement from a relax, like this would be x here. So those are the three measurements you could make. Design experimental procedure to test the hypothesis in which the student uses the launcher to launch the sphere. Assume equipment usually found in the school physics laboratory is available. And the table below lists quantities and associated symbols that would be measured in your experiment. Also list equipment that would be used to measure each quantity. Um, you do not need to fill in every row. If you need additional rows, you may add them to this space below. Quantity to be measured is mass of the sphere, m, uh, and we'll use a scale. We want to measure velocity, we'll call it V, and the scale will be use a high-speed camera. I would use a camera, you could also use some kind of position sensor or something like that, or a velocity sensor. And then, uh, a then you want to measure um, distance, well not distance but like displacement. I guess displacement is the best way to word displacement of spring. We'll use the term x, and that's a, in in a, a meter stick or ruler. Okay. Um, describe the overall procedure to be used to test the hypothesis that the spring constant is the same value for different compression distances, referring to the table. Provide enough details to another student. Okay, so this is a lot of writing, so I'll kind of explain how the experiment will work. Um, and you, you, know, you don't write it out. What you would do is you would measure, you see, you would calculate k for each of these quantities at different displacement points. So I'd have a different x, xa, xb, xc, and I would have a va, vb, and vc, and I would calculate key k for each of those three scenarios and see if it's like basically the same or not. Um, describe the experimental data. Describe how the experimental data could be analyzed to confirm or disconfirm the hypothesis. Oh, okay, so what you would then do is you would look at those three k values and decide if they're different or not, right? Like, so if I get a different k when I use the position at pin A, versus pin C versus pin B, then like then it's different. If they're about the same, then that would be fine. So another student uses the launcher to consecutively launch several spheres that have the same diameter but different masses, one after another. Each sphere is launched from position A. Consider the sphere's launch speed, which is the speed of the sphere at the instant it loses contact with the plate. On the axis below, sketch of the graph of the launch speed as a function of the sphere's mass. Well, um, because it's the same uh, position A, it's the same amount of energy right that's being uh, stored up every time so let's just call this a constant because we're always doing position a this is constant so we're gonna say it's some energy is equal to 1 half mv squared so what we're curious to know is the relationship between m and v so what I would do is I would solve for v and I would say well 2e is equal to mv squared and so v is equal to the square root of 2e over m so 
what does this graph kind of look like? Um, it's kind of like an inverse square root, I guess, is kind of he would say it. So the bigger the mass is, like whenever the mass has, let's say, say the mass is at some point here, it has a launch speed, okay? When I double the mass or quadruple the mass, this should go down by like half x. So it should look kind of like this. And when the mass is zero, it should launch infinitely fast. That's not really, not, it's not really how it would work, but you would kind of sketch it like that. And that's it. So I hope you found that helpful. Let me know how you did on this question, and I'll see you in the next one.